Ciao. So he's Mario. He's our son. He was born two and a half years ago. And uh, I had a pretty tough pregnancy because I had to stay still in a bed for uh, like eight months. But at the end, everything seemed to be under control. So he got the right weight at birth, he got the right APGAR index. So we were pretty reassured by this. But uh, at the end, 10 days later than uh, he was born, we discovered that he had a stroke. As you might know, a stroke is a brain injury. A perinatal stroke could be something that can happen during the nine months of birth or pregnancies or just suddenly after the birth. And in his case, as you can see, the right uh, uh, part of his brain has gone. So the fact that the stroke could have on Mario's body could be the fact that he couldn't be able to control the left side of his body. Uh, just imagine like if you have a computer and a printer and uh, you want to transmit the input to print out a document but uh, the printer doesn't have the right driver. So uh, the same is for Maris. Just like he would like to move his left side of his body but uh, he's not able to transmit the right input to move his uh, uh, left arm and uh, left leg. So life had to change. We need to change our schedule. We need to change uh, th the impact that uh, this birth had on our life. As you may imagine, unfortunately, we were not ready. Nobody teaches us how to deal with such kind of disabilities. And as many questions as possible started to come to our minds. Uh, and that has been really a, a tough time. Questions, some basics, like, you know, why this happened to us, what went wrong, some more tough, like really, what will be the impact on Mario's life? I mean, at the end, we'll be able to work, we'll be able to be normal, and, and you know, as a parent, especially for the first time, why is not going to be better than us? And it's indeed really tough to say, but a few months later, we realized that we were really feeling like a failure. I mean, the, the, the only real product of our life at the end was a failure. And, and you know, it was not a failure for ourselves in, in, in itself, but it was a failure that will impact his full life. Honestly, we went down. I mean, we went really down. But at the end, we started to look at him, and we said, we have to react. So immediately, as Francesca said, we changed our life, we started the physiotherapy, we started the rehabilitation, and one of the paths that we were following in terms of rehabilitation is the mirror neurons pilot. Basically, we spent months doing this with Mario. You have an object, and we showed him how to grab the object. Now, the theory of mirror neurons simply say that in your brains, exactly now, as you watch me doing this, you are activating exactly the same neurons as if you do the actions. It looks like this is the leading edge in terms of rehabilitation, but one day we found that Mario was not looking at our hand. He was looking at us. We were his mirror. And the problem, as you might felt, is that we were in down, we were depressed, we, we were looking at him as a problem not as a son, not from a positive perspective. And that day really changed our perspective. We realized that, that we had to become a better mirror for Mario. We restarted from our strengths, and at the same time, we restarted from his strengths. We stopped to look at him as a problem, and we start to look at him as an opportunity to improve. And really, this was the change. And from our side, we said, what are our strengths that we really can bring to Mario? And we started from our patients. I mean, at the end, my wife and myself are quite different, but we have many co things in common. We love to travel, we love music, we love to be in places like this, and we started to bring Mario with us, just to show to him the best things that we can show to him. This short video is from last week. I'm not saying... I'm not saying it's a miracle, that's not the message, because we are just at the beginning of the path. 
But I, we want to share what was the key learning, the key learning that Mario drove to us, and is to consider what you have as a gift, and not only what you miss, and to consider what you missed just as an opportunity. And this is the message that we want to share with you. This is why we are here. Mario! And this is why... <laughs> and this is why... we decided to share the best mirror in the world with him. And we thank you so much, all of you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> thank you.